Hello for lover, my name is Logan Tapuola and um, welcome back to Messi in the Treasures of Samoa. So today I will be teaching you how to put boards onto your knives. So what you're going to need for this is your knives, your boards, wire and something to cut the wire. So uh, if you don't have any boards, uh, you can use old towels you don't use anymore. Um, I would suggest you cut them to um, the blade so that um, it will be easier for you to put on instead of wrapping it around because um, the towel will eventually burn and um, fly off your knife so I would cut it towards the size of your blade and then stack them together so they are this thick um, and yeah you can wrap it when you're using it for your donuts but um, yeah so, um, the way I like to put on my boards, um, or how to weight it, um, I always put two um, of these boards on the top, one for each side, and then I'll put four donuts um, on the bottom, because I find that that's um, good, um, how can I say this, it's good weight for me. So. I suggest that um, when you do this, uh, you find what weight you are used to before you start putting the boards on. So, um, yeah, so when we start, I like to, since I only use two boards for my blade, I already know the measurements, so I always measure from the bottom of my palm to the top of my middle finger, and that's always the right length for me because it's not too much and not too less so yeah well, I've already got one cut out and um, also when I put on my boards I like to start from the bottom holes and make my way up to the hook so um, so I've already got um, a wire pre-cut and um, I would always measure it and make sure that um, it's the right length and that I'll fold it before I put it onto the knife because that will make my job really easy so once you put it on the knife you don't have to do all the folding process and stuff like that so you can just put it in the holes then put your board on and then just feed it through and it won't be such a hard process But yeah, you want to make sure that um, the board is lined up properly so that it doesn't go off and that the wire is tight. You want to make sure the wires are all through and once they're through, you want to bend them outwards so that it um, stays and then it will be easier for you to put on the next board so you're gonna uh, do the same process for the two holes until the last one the last one you will do a little bit differently so it's safer to um, perform so now that I got my second wire on um, I'm gonna put on the board so make sure it's lined up at the top and the bottom and I would fold the wires over and then I twist these together. Um, some people you can do it with your fingers, um, some people can't because um, our fingers aren't used to it yet but I'm just going to use this because my fingers are not used to it yet either. So I'm going to start by twisting and um, making sure that it's tight. Um, so once you're finished twisting it, um, sometimes you have a little bit extra on your knife 
and you don't want that so you will cut it off and yeah you do the same with the bottom one and um, once you finish with that you want to make sure that it's tight And then once you finish with that, you wanna tap it into the board a little bit and then flip it over and it will be one straight line. So what you would do was grab it and twist it so it's tight. Yep. So you do the same with the bottom and I'll teach you something different at the top. So for this last step, um, it does um, acquire a bit of while. So when you do it, don't cut the wire off yet. Um, just kind of do the exact same thing you did for this one, but don't cut it off until the end. So now that I got the wire through, um, before you twist it, you can now cut it, but make sure that there's enough to go over the blade and underneath this side. So about that much will do. And then you want to cut it there and then do the exact same thing and you will have one longer side and the other side will be short. Now that I've finished twisting these together, um, so what you want to do is grab the long side and fold it over the top of the blade. Um, and then you see how you would usually put it, um, make it a Z. Um, it's not easy here because it won't have enough room for the wire to go underneath it. So once you put it underneath, you want to grab it and tighten it as hard as you can. So now that it's tightened, um, you want to make sure that you pull that down and make sure it's over the blade and it will go underneath the back. And then you want to pull that as hard as you can and then fold it upwards. And then once you're here, you want to make sure that it goes underneath so that it's safe and it won't stab you during your dance. Um, or you can always just um, hammer it into the board, but I don't have enough time for that. so. Or patience so um, after you do that you do your usual Z and then that will keep the boards from flying out when you do your performance so on to the donuts so now we're gonna do our donuts um, so once again if you don't have boards or donuts um, you can always use towels um, that you don't use anymore so once you got your boards you want to put them on or your towel doesn't matter. Um, feed them through. I use four boards because um, that's an even weight for my um, weight that's on the blade. So once I put it on, it would look like that, and you would have your hole there, and on this side, and. So once I put it on, you would have the hole there and on this side. So you want to feed your wire through it, through the hole and it will come out. Um, if you um, miss mistaken your, how much measurements you have um, and you want to test your weight, you can use like a wire like this and just feed it through and just bend it downwards like that and spin it and the, blade, and the boards won't fly off but it's not good to just do that for your performance because it's not safe, but yeah, make sure you have enough wire so you would feed it through and then you make it go good through the other side. And 
that's a bit too much on one side, so I'm going to feed it back. And I'm going to cut it right there. So that's enough. And then from here, you would do your usual twist these two together. So, once you twisted them together, you want to fold it downwards and you see how there's two spikes coming out of that you want to make sure you um, don't have that because if you catch that by accident it will go into your hand so the easier way to do it is just to twist it a bit more and try to get them to go with each other Grab it and twist it and see how it's together now. You would fold that downwards this way or any way you like and you would try to bang it to the side so the spikes face downwards So, because um, it's obvious if the spike faces upwards you could still um, injure yourself with that so once you got that I'm going to tap it down, make sure it's tight, and then on the other side, as usual, your Z to keep it tight, nice and tight, and then, yeah, there we go, it's nice and tight, and then pat that down a little bit too, and that's your boards, um, so if you would have towels, you would have an extra wire going around so you put the wire around it first and then this wire going over because if you do this wire first and then a wire on top of it there's still a chance that that wire on top will fly out and hit one of your um, people watching you but yeah that's that's the donuts that's how you do the donuts and this is the top See how um, I put the wire inside the board? You could do that or just keep it folded underneath there, but I prefer it to go inside the board just so it doesn't um, impale my skin. But yeah, that's how you board, put boards on your fire knife sticks.